Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Sagittarius, we're going to do a reading for you. Um, I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Oracle deck for you. I'm going to look at your energy and an energy outside of you, Sagittarius. And then we're going to build up the reading from there. So we'll see what we get. I'm just kind of off to the side here. I have to share the table with Sir Larry the Pussycat. He has decided that he wants to sit in on your reading, Sagittarius. Okay, you have the fox. The energy, ooh, ooh, that's interesting. The energy outside of you is the golden egg. Okay, so starfish is at the bottom. Frog cleansing. Okay, swan, frog, starfish, tons of water. Tons and tons of water in the past here. A lot of water, a lot of cleansing, a lot of reflection. A lot of shining, like um, finding something unique about yourself after going through some period here of cleansing and self-reflection. Now you're trying to get into the hen house, honey. <laughs> so what you're doing, but you're, this is so intriguing. I mean, this is really coming out like the fox and the hen house. And what is in there? It's the best egg, the best egg you've ever had. It's sitting outside of you here. Um, there might be some... I want to say some careful thinking and thought to to this doesn't feel well it could I mean it could represent it could represent a person but it most likely represents an accomplishment a place or a thing so for for whatever reason though to get this it's not a straight avenue and there might be energies that are trying to block you from achieving it whether those energies are now because I'm just going to say okay, so whether those energies are um they've got you know every right to try to block you from this and just hear me out because you're right I don't know, you're coming out as the fox and the fox tries to take the golden egg now it doesn't have to be that there's you know the symbolism of that but i'm gonna look into it because i'm gonna call i'm gonna call out what i see but i kind of sort of think that there's just something going on around you that kind of wants to stop you like i'm picturing like the farmer right of the hen house like don't get in there and take the golden egg but you're probably also the best equipped the best equipped and the most likely to succeed in this i could be wrong but i feel like the fox has probably the best percentage in terms of success rate of getting into the hen house and getting the egg as opposed to you know like uh, coyote or wolves or you know feral cats anything like that i think the fox probably does it more often than not now what's really interesting too is you're not even actually looking at the golden egg so you're not looking at the golden egg you might be aware of this opportunity for success in whatever avenue of life that could be I kind of do want to say too, like your underlying energy is showing that there is, you've done some type of emotional, spiritual, internal work here, right? So it's lining you up for an opportunity that you likely wouldn't have had before. Now, either you're not aware of this opportunity down the road, or you are, but you're kind of acting like you're not targeting it. You're not trying to work towards it. That's not actually your goal here. You're being kind of sly like a fox, right? So let's see what the tarot's got to say about this one, Sagittarius. You know, and it's not to say either that the, like the farmer could be trying to protect its um its hen house. So you're like, all I want is the egg. I'm not gonna take the hens. I just want the egg spirit. I'm not gonna take you know what lays the egg. Uh, I'm not gonna steal everything the farmer has. <laughs> say it's theft, but it's just there's an opportunity there. And it kind of showing up to me like spirit saying, yeah, you've done some type of work here. And because of that, you can see, you can see the opportunity, but you're also choosing not to look at it. So are you choosing not to believe that something is possible because ah, it's guarded by the farmer? You're never going to get in there. That's impossible to get into that and it, to achieve something to that extent or to that degree, because I think you can. Actually, I don't think you can. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can. 
but you may also be second guessing your abilities here and what tools you have in your life to allow you to succeed to this degree. Maybe you've come up against situations in the past in your life and you didn't have the tools to get into the golden egg, but you have them now. So don't second guess yourself, all right? Okay, with the fox. Wow, you have justice. I told you. The high priestess. And the freaking Harrowfint. Sagittarius, you have every tool required here for this success. If you found yourself in life without those tools and you haven't been able to find that success or meet that success in the past, don't let that be the thing that holds you back right now. Nuh -uh, nuh -uh, uh -uh. You have this. This is for you. Spirit has got your back. And I kind of want to say, like, there's a double. This I'm coming out because we got justice. We have this, this yin and the yang. There's something that's balanced here. Or something needs to be balanced. Like something, maybe you've overly balanced here. Maybe you've overly, maybe you've taken on too much in the past. And it's caused a pretty good purge here. Uh, a cleansing rectifying your energy something needs to be rectified and both the universe and i feel like the things that work within the parameters and the frequency of the universe here on earth are also like these are the two elements that i feel are coming up as the two elements required in justice for you this is kind of spiritually written What's a golden egg? I'm getting like a weird vibe from it. Almost like it stinks. <laughs> like, a, like a rotten egg. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. I mean, you know, it could be something in the past that was a rotten egg. And that's why you didn't achieve it. Let's see this golden egg. It's an energy outside of Sagittarius. The Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. This egg is rolling somewhere. It's like literally like it's rolling. This egg is rolling somewhere. But you know what's so interesting is that if you've ever like rolled an egg it kind of like whoop 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 because right like it's not round and it's just like the way this energy is whoop 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 this egg is rolling but actually not getting anywhere this egg is rolling but not getting anywhere for some of you if this is um i'm gonna say like if you come in here and you want to if you're I don't know. I just want to say that there's something here because this fox in this deck also talks about the perfect partner. So that could be something that you are coming out as, right? You are the perfect partner. You are the perfect partner for someone here. That's also very clear with getting justice, the Hierophant, the high priestess. There's something in, and you're the perfect, the perfect partner possibly for a romantic union or, um, some type of work or business partnership. Now, also be careful of that because your energy could be highly sought after. There could be those that want to utilize your energy for their own success also with what, like looking at that. Um, you're coming off as perfect, but also having an opportunity to a golden egg that finds, that to me is almost something that kind of moves around when perhaps others try to claim it or, or catch it. It stays in place, but can't, you know, can't be grabbed, can't be grabbed by others. But you're the one that has the ability to do this. I kind of want to say too, be sort of like careful or cautious if you are contemplating or even in, in any kind of I don't know, business arrangements or anything like that. Just make sure that you're really 
comfortable if you are in any type of a business arrangement right now that you are really really comfortable with what that person brings to the table and that they're not utilizing your energy to get somewhere because this golden egg is not touchable for everyone if you are connected to someone who is not meant to reach this type of success or connect with this golden egg it will keep moving if you're connected to them it'll stop moving for you to pick it up when you're not connected to them you have all major arcana and you're coming up as the perfect energy for whatever this is it's yours and yours alone, okay? <laughs> Is it okay? Right? Yeah. Okay. Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom. Why are we so twitchy here, Mr. It might be. It might be time for a new plan for you. Or you've actually, maybe you've already done that because it is underlying. Let's clarify. I want to use, I'm actually going to use the um, Everyday Witch to clarify instead of the uh, Wild Unknown Tarot. We're going to see. We're going to see how you are the fox. And the universe is highly favoring you right now. The fox. The Nine of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. All right. See, okay. That is, I feel like that this is something that you've tried to achieve before or some type of recognition or success or goal that you've had in your life and you haven't been able to, to meet it, to get it, to grab that egg. Now, it is a, a very long journey to get to this egg because it's also coming up as like something that I've, I used to see um, before in readings where it's sort of like a portal, right? And it's is that this is a new opportunity for you in your life. It's like the gatekeeper stands at the portal and the gatekeeper is checking on your energy because only you can walk through this gate. That's kind of what this golden egg is coming out as. It's sort of showing up in this reading as the gate in the gate. It's what's on the other side of the gate, the opportunity on the other side of a gate for you. So it's this perhaps also at a point of a transition in your life and alchemizing, alchemizing things from your past, transforming it, healing, you getting to the gate and you got to be you. You also can't be taking like some other energy. I don't know why I'm picking that up. I don't know. So I feel like it's relevant to some of you. Like I'm picking something up about certain energies that are not meant, like they will throw the energy signature off and the gate will stay closed. The gatekeeper will not open the gate to an opportunity that you are meant to achieve. I kind of want to say too, this is almost like the energy of, um, I'm, I'm being shown like a band or a group and they're all like totally ho-hum or mediocre, but you are either the lead singer or you're the drummer. You're something very significant in the band and you carry it. Now, you could choose to just stay in that band indefinitely, but it's like it's not actually serving your higher good or everyone else's higher good because it's almost feeling like to me there's something here that the universe definitely is in favor with these cards of you achieving and getting to and walking through that gate, but you can't do it with the energy that is sort of like clinging to you or surrounds you or you're attached to in some way or has attached itself to you. And this is maybe part of the long journey here that's a bit of anxiety, overthinking, maybe regret. Maybe, yeah, maybe regret if there's any sort of energy that you're taking with you that's stopping you from walking through the gate. Because once this energy is removed, because I feel like you have removed energies from yourself here, right? You've, you've reflected and cleansed. And now you see who you are. You understand your blessings. And there's your blessing. So I don't know if some of you are still like working to remove certain energies. Because once you get to this gate and there's nothing clinging to you and you're purified because you're in this purified state, you're going to be recognized. The egg will stop moving. The gate will open up. Justice. Actually, before that, the golden egg. The golden egg. Oh my gosh, guys, it's the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. 
There might even be a whole group of people on the other side of the gate. <laughs> I don't know. But this is making happiness. So stick with me here. As the analogy of like this band. And you're in this band. And part of you may feel like, well, if I, you know, go solo on my own, what's going to happen to them? You know what? They'll keep doing what they do. They'll do it on weekends at clubs or whatever. They'll play music. But they have a path. There's something about your path here. And it's not the same as some other paths that have been around you. So... If you tried, like let's say you tried to accomplish whatever this could be on the other side of the gate through, well, I want to do, oh my God, whose reading was that? This is not the time for, this is a time to be selfish. Was that a, a, a collective reading? Because that's exactly what this is, Sagittarius. Because being selfish is for the higher good of yourself and everyone else. I'm literally getting like when you walk through the gate, you're going to make your own music. And this music is going to be like, you know, like be a frequency or resonance that would be healing or uplifting to people. But if you brought in this other energy with you through sympathy or, well, you know, we've been together a long time and I, no, you're not going to make the tenant. The egg won't let you do it. So it literally would be like, right, like this is really interesting because it's kind of showing up and why it was so important. I don't remember what reading that was. But it was something about, you know, we really, this is not a time for being um, selfless, uh, altruistic. This is definitely, you're meant to do something here and you're meant to walk through this gate. And it's for like, right? It creates happiness. There's happiness there. There's also, it's almost like to say like, when you do this, when you create all this joy and happiness, not just of yourself, but with others, you do get a reward. I want to say there's also great financial stability for you with the golden egg. This is a big change here. I mean, honestly, I'm really looking at something where, to me, it feels like someone who lived a certain life here, and I want to describe it as also somebody who almost becomes like famous or star with the starfish, and it takes you into a whole new group of people, but this is spirit-led. This is 100% spirit-led. This is not you chasing like fortune and fame i feel like it's something that might even come to you somehow so let's look at justice but it's through happiness like you create happiness you might even end up okay so here's the thing too i think there's even something in your future here of a happy family justice you have the death card and the page of cups. This is your just rebirth. This is. And it's just supposed to, you're, you start with a creative spark. Painting your own picture here. Yeah, there's an energy that you can't take through the gate with you. The high priestess. Holy mother of God. You got with the high priestess, you have the Empress and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so right now I'm getting with that energy is that there's something here just sort of like the King of Pentacles. It's it's enjoying, it enjoys sort of the, the physical things in life. He's holding up right his chocolate cake and his wine. Um, but this energy also is covered in vines. The legs and the chair are covered in vines. It can't move forward. But yet it's so similar to you in some aspect here, right? With this empress. Look at he's standing in front of somebody is standing in front of you or trying to, Sagittarius. Somebody is trying to either energetically or through conversation or body language convince you that you can't do something without them you can 100 percent, and you're actually meant to the hierophant the 
the Hierophant. The Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords. There's somebody here that it's kind of coming up as your past, right? Someone's from, but I don't, it's kind of the wrong way to describe it because the Six of Cups to me is coming up as um, someone that you've known for a while, but the Ten of Swords is there with this. This is, this has, to, I don't know, this has to end. Somebody's holding your ideas back or trying to influence them to be their own ideas. So there's something much bigger for you. The Four of Wands, the friggin' sun came out with it. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Sag. I'm not making this up. <laughs> it's like, like there's right here. It's showing up in the cards. And this King of Pentacles is not at the same level as the Emperor. Come on. You pulled out the Empress and the High Priestess together. You were you were like a divine feminine energy or you whether you're masculine or feminine yourself your divine feminine energy is far superior than some type of masculine energy around you or somebody's using masculine energy to try to convince your your feminine creative flowing energy that it, i don't know stifling it or holding it back trying to the four of pentacles The devil, that's, oh my God, but that's why the egg wobbles. This is literally showing me like the egg wobbling. And it's, you know, if you wobbled an egg, <laughs> rolled an egg, you know, which way it's going. It can't be caught. The six of swords, spirit moves the egg. Mwah. The devil can't get it. Because this king of pentacles is coming up to me as if, uh, it okay, you have so much more than this king of pentacles with the high priestess and the empress. Like it's, it's. The, the amount that you could bring into your life and create into your life is almost like unimaginable, okay? So, but this energy here, it wants to show you what it has. It's almost like, um, yeah, like displaying or peacocking, kind of like that. Like, look what I got, look what I got. But it's not, I don't know, it's just not, not enough. And it's it kind of wants your energy because it's more than what it's had. This could also, okay, it's very specific. This King of Pentacles is coming off to me as someone who may have even been born in wealth. Somebody who may have had wealth or may have had some level of, you know, family could have had, I don't know, um, a business, a shop, a restaurant, the cake and the wine, some place where you would go to eat and drink. But this person has gone backwards in life instead of, you know, at least even staying where they were. And so it's trying to hang on to your coattails here. It's, it, it, right? It's, it's not healthy for your energy and it has nothing to do with this 10 of cups that you would create. So the egg will wobble until the energy's not there. The six of swords. So you might even be going through periods of feeling like, oh, think you're getting a breakthrough on things or you're getting some sort of success. And then might feel like you're kind of like stepping back or something that's like, well, what happened there? See, the Six of Swords and the King of Swords. Oh, there's it's only one truth here. That's that's coming across as the gatekeeper to me. You know, I really like he's got like a white cat, <laughs> like a white cat. And we got you got the white cat. Larry came into your reading. Right? He came into your reading, I feel like, to purify your cards and keep the, the message solid. We got the two of wands and the chariot. So you focus. Focus on your future here, and that's where you're going. But there's an energy here that can't go with you. you know. And if it's not someone who's in your life like right now, I feel like either there are, might be people that show up that mimic this energy because it's something you're familiar with. So you kind of like easily identify it and could be bringing it in. Or um, it's the energy of someone from your past. And it could be. It could be somebody that 
Well, the Ten of Swords is here. This person, I sort of kind of also want to say that this person will end up betraying you. If your energy is so much more than theirs is, this, this energy will keep you small. Because it has to be able to contain you. It's kind of like someone who's realized that, you know, they don't have any money to pay for the hydro bill anymore. So the lights go out. It gets dark at 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. There's no more light. It's dark in the house. And then they find you and you're sort of like a firefly. So they put you in the jar, but you're not just meant to be a firefly for that person. Like it won't let you, it'll let in enough air and keep you contained. It'll let in enough air and keep you contained just to light. But it lights up its own home with you. It lights up its own energy. It's not letting you move and light up everything that you're meant to light up. Which is kind of, yeah. That's interesting. So that's what I got. I'm going to do the extended uh, Sagittarius. In the extended, I'm going to see, okay, I'm going to look at the energy between you and and the golden egg. So I'm going to see how this energy, what the two of your energies create as a combine, and then what the combination of these two energies do to you, and what the combination of these two energies do to the golden egg. <laughs> like, like how that's working out. And it might even sort of give a perspective too on how much or how little some sort of outside energy has an effect on the gate of getting through the golden egg to the golden egg. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.